Hey everyone, Jordan here from Happen Films, coming at you live from my freezing cold office. Um, so I just wanted to go live for a few minutes to share with you um, some clips from a film that we're working on as a bit of a sneak preview. Uh, so a few weeks ago, we made the trip down to Otatahi Christchurch to start uh, filming at Roymata Food Commons. A uh, beautiful friend of ours, Michael Reynolds, uh, runs this project where uh, basically they've taken over a public park with the council's permission um, and planted a pretty extensive food forest and vegetable gardens uh, as a way to increase food resilience and food sovereignty um, in this area of Christchurch. Uh, it's a really uh, amazing project that's having some, um, some great impacts already in the I think it was four years they've been going so um, we've decided to shoot this film over three seasons we were going to shoot it in a regular format of um, you know th a three-day shoot is what we normally do um, but after quite a few delays due to um, mainly COVID um, getting in the way of shoots we've um, decided to um, increase the production timeline on this film and shoot it over three seasons. So this first shoot in winter, uh, we'll go back down in spring and then the final shoot in summer. So this is a bit different for us, but it's quite exciting because we'll get to document the forest and the gardens over the course of those seasons to see it change and evolve. But also it gives us the time to really go in depth um, and explore the full scope of this project and um, and I suppose do it do it justice and also follow along the journey because some things are unfolding in real time which is um, quite exciting as well because we'll get to we don't know how the film will end we've, we've got some ideas of how um, we want the story to go but it'll depend on what happens over the next uh, six to eight months so um, yeah, so I've put together a bit of a reel of my favorite shots from the shoot. We sh shot for three days and had beautiful weather either side of um, really terrible weather. So we're really lucky. Um, and so I've, I've put together some of my favorite shots in a bit of a reel for you um, to have a look at. So I might roll that now and I'll see you in a minute. So that was just a short little reel of um, some of from some of my favorite shots, and you get a bit of a, a look at the gardens there from some of, from some of those drone drone shots. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that that little sneak preview. So I also wanted to mention um, our page on uh, Open Collective here. So um, I don't know if you've seen our film we put out or film a video we put out a couple of months ago about community supported filmmaking where we're trying to move away from our reliance on YouTube ad revenue and crowdfund all of our film productions so we're using this platform open collective to do that and we've so if you go to opencollective.com slash happen films um, you'll come to this page here which says just a bit about us and then you scroll down and the really cool feature of this platform is that you can see all the projects we're working on at the moment and also a couple that um, have been funded and that we've already completed. So here you'll find Urban Food Commons, which is the film about Romata Food Commons. And if you come to the project page, you can read more about the film, why we're making it, a bit of a um, synopsis of the story and also a breakdown of the budget and 
um, how much it's we're expected to it's expected to cost to produce this film. Um, so you can read all about that here. I'll, there's a link um, in the description of this stream if you want to check it out. And we'd really appreciate um, any contributions towards this project. You can see we're at um, we've got some great donations already. We're at nine thousand eight hundred and twenty-five dollars of twenty-five thousand five hundred. So we've still got a bit of a way to go. Um, and if you did want to contribute, you can come here and click the contribute button. And there are predetermined amounts that you can select here, or you can click other and then type in whatever amount you want to contribute. It does say New Zealand dollars, but the payment, once you get to the payment info page, you can pay by card or bank transfer. And even though it's in New Zealand dollars, it'll transfer from whatever currency you're sending it from. So that is um, how to donate to a specific project. And we've also, uh, back on the home page here, if you want to check out our other projects, Fishing for Change, you can come here and read about this one as well. We're going to have a couple more projects up here. We've got quite a quite a, um, a lot on at the moment and we've got um, some films that are about to enter pre-production which we'll have up here um, as well which you can check out. Or if you just wanted to make a general donation towards uh, films and, um, and Happen Films, you can just come to Happen Funds and down here you'll see you can become a monthly supporter or just give a, a single donation. So yeah, so this is a really cool platform that we're trying to, um, to move towards because it really um, embodies more of our values around um, how we want to be making films. So if you did want to hear more about that and about the vision, you can check out this video on our channel. I've linked it below as well called Building a Strong Future for Happen Films. You can um, hear me talk a bit about the vision and about how, how we want to get there with the Open Collective platform. So that is about all from me. That was just a quick live stream to, yeah, to um, bring you guys along the journey of the production, I suppose. So let me know if you want to see more preview clips like this, some more behind the scenes photos and videos, um, and yeah, I could do more of these uh, short little live streams. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, that little sneak preview, and I'll see you next time.